Great Ovens is 48 hectares of mainly dry heath that forms part of the much larger complex of Wareham Forest in Dorset. What was once part of a large area of heathland that surrounded Pool Harbour and stretched to Bournemouth and Pool is now one of a dozen heathland sites managed by the Amphibian and Reptile Conservation Trust on the Isle of Purbeck. It provides superb panoramic views of the local area glimpsing Pool Harbour to its east, Corfe Castle and the Purbeck Ridge to the south and overlooking Morden Bog to the west. Recognised as a site of special scientific interest and a special area of conservation, it has achieved protection status both nationally and globally for its rare flora and fauna. The Nature Reserve has been managed by ARC since 1996 and continues to have regular sensitive ecological management applied to it. With forestry operations continuing on neighbouring land, there is continuous seeding on the open heath. Without management intervention, this extremely rare habitat would grow naturally into a pine plantation. Great Ovens was extensively quarried between 1850 and 1940 to supply the pottery industry in the nearby village of Sanford. This has created a diverse landscape providing a suitable habitat to all six of our rarest native reptiles. At the northern end of the reserve is a large hill with a south-facing aspect known as White Hill. The eye-catching mix of gorse and heather varieties on this well-drained sandy slope provide ideal cover for sand lizards and smooth snakes. The heathers provide a changing vista as the different species come into bloom. Bell heather has deep purple flowers, while ling or common heather carpets the hill with a soft pale purple and pink glow throughout late summer and autumn. As we move down to the bottom of White Hill, there is a large area of wet heath. As the ground becomes damper, you will notice the bell heather is replaced by cross-leaved heath and an extensive variety of plants such as sedges, grasses and rare flowers such as bog asphodel, insect-eating stun dews and the county's mascot species of heather, Dorset heath. This makes an ideal home for native grass snakes and common lizards. Gorse provides a valuable habitat for wildlife at great ovens. Common or European gorse provides a vibrant display with its coconut scented yellow flowers early in the year. Adders are frequently found basking in late blooming dwarf gorse, which is unique to the south of the UK. Dense gorse provides wildlife from harsh winter frosts and is vital for many species that overwinter here, such as the Dartford warbler, stone chat, and many species of invertebrate. Deer, foxes, rabbits and badgers also find shelter in gorse stands and make homes and pathways amongst them. Regular and careful habitat management enhances the health of the heathland to benefit a range of different species. Gorse and scrub thinning are carried out to remove the leggier stands, offering resident birds denser patches to forage and overwinter. Mowing ensures that there's a variety of structures and heights of heather across the site for vertebrates and ground nesting birds. Bear sand is created to offer sand lizards areas to lay their eggs and provide habitats for many species of invertebrate that need these open areas such as tiger beetles and solitary wasps. Maintaining the health and diversity of this habitat keep our Dorset field team and volunteers busy during the year working around the schedule that is designed to avoid disturbing hibernating reptiles and nesting birds. Heading further south across the reserve, in an area used historically for clay extraction, there are two large ponds. These, along with some additional shallow ponds and pools created by the Trust's field team, are home to common toads and frogs, along with smooth and palmate newts. The ponds also attract an array of dragonfly species, including the ruddy darter and the southern hawker, and rare invertebrates such as the raft spider. With its proximity to Pool Harbour, neighbouring forests and extensive heathlands 
great ovens provides an attraction for many native and migrant bird species. These include the Dartford Warbler, Nightjar, Tree Pipit, Stone Chat and Woodlark, plus a variety of birds of prey such as Hobby, Merlin and Offspray that have been recorded here. Maintaining heathland in good condition is an ongoing task. Along with volunteers and partners, ARC will continue to preserve this site and others like it for the benefit of visitors and wildlife into the future.